It's Clef from Phone Tap. Here at the desk, we got Chalky again. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Good to be back. Good to be back. Kit Kats versus Trump. Man, it feels like I've seen these players play way too many times. <laughs> yeah, there have definitely been uh, names that have been around the scene for quite some time. Yep. Uh, you know, Kit Kats had a. Uh, I think he was here actually last season as well. If I'm remembering no, correctly. No, I don't remember. Only Silent Storm returns. So. I, re I remember he had the the, mm. the really really epic uh, Kelthazad. Did he not actually? That was, that one? He didn't make it to the land. Oh, okay, he competed okay, though, okay, for sure. I, yeah, yeah, I thought that was. Yeah, the, they got they got a lot of these part. tournaments leading up yeah, to this one. You can yep. you can you can lose track sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this time he made it though. Made it through the last chance open where he went five and zero. Oh. He has a great record in this one as well. I believe he 3 0 Kalento. Still undefeated. Yeah. Really? He, he, didn't, he hasn't lost a game? He, he hasn't lost a match. Okay. But mm -hmm. I believe he dropped probably a game. I don't With remember Warrior, what it was, I, I, yeah, uh, what it was against. But yeah, he was, uh, he was the top seed of his bracket. Trump was the, uh, the second seed of his. Uh, but Trump doing, doing quite well as well. Um, he's a bit on the upswing, as, as we talked about. Uh, I believe he, he lost his first game, but he came through and ended up qualifying and and here he is in the final day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Trump's been putting up, uh, you know, some pretty pretty strong results recently. For for a long time, he really focused on arena. I mean, then he's been playing a lot more constructed, you know, yeah. on, his, on his stream recently, and his tournament results have uh, definitely improved as, as yeah, a Yeah, actually, result. about that, as uh, it's something I'm, I, I, one of my hobbies. You know, I like to see how uh, the streamers do because uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the big names in Hearthstone, a lot of the streamers, they do go through uh, a lot of invites, and they don't have to do the qualifying process, mm -hmm. which is nice because you win. <laughs> Generally, more tournaments, but on the other end, you don't get a very good win record because you don't go through the qualifying brackets and uh, have somewhat of an easier time. So I believe Trump is uh, the first big streamer to hit 50% win rate. <laughs> oh, man. But that's kind of a depressing statistic. When you yeah. Think <laughs> well, he's at like 50-50 overall yeah. lifetime, but... In it's, the past it's, two months, he's been like 65, 70 percent. That's in right. Tournaments. That's right. That's what that's what leads. Yeah. <laughs> that's why he's there. Yeah. But uh, a lot of the other famous streamers, um, even though uh, they're doing very well uh, overall, they're doing very well against very big names, are usually cruising around the 48 percent. Well, if you think about it, you know, in, when you get to these, you know, these tur these tournaments that are largely just really strong players, yeah. you know, you're you're going to face someone who's a really strong player in the first round. Exactly. So your, yeah. your chances of winning that matchup exactly. are, are generally not going to be that much better than 50/50. So right. if you're just slightly on the wrong end of, of you know of good fortune, then you know it can kind of you know not go your way. Well, here we go. We're going to see Trump open up with Paladin while Kit Kat's opened up with Hunter. Okay. And uh, I think uh, Paladin has some tools to keep the Hunter at bay. A lot of the a lot of the Hunter cards aren't as useful uh, against Paladin as they are against most other classes. Yeah, I, I think that the the shift recently toward more mid range Hunter decks uh, rather than face Hunter decks definitely favors Paladin in that matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, Paladin against face Hunter doesn't really have enough tools to you know contain their early damage and be able to survive their their late game burst. Whereas against mid-range hunter, they're a little bit slower, and you know you have cards yeah. like Aldor Peacekeeper that matches up extremely well against Savannah Hyman. And Trump's looking card. good. Look at that solo mid shirt. <laughs> you might be slightly biased. Here. I got one of those. This is just <laughs> good. That. Look at the ESL shirt from Kit Kats, though. Oh yeah, Ooh. rapping. Yeah, you're you're yes, sporting yes. a nice, uh, nice outfit there. Where, where can people get that outfit, Chucky? Oh man, are you are you softballing <laughs> me the plug here? <laughs> uh, Teambignitas.net. Uh -huh. All right, well, here all right. we have opening hands from both players. That's uh, excellent from the pal. Oh yeah, this is a very good opening hand from Trump. Zombie right. Chow. It's not. It's not only that. You guarantee not mulligan into the useless card in the deck. <laughs> that is that is one of the dangerous things when you do have. You know, uh, a, a draw which is kind of middle of the pack, mm -hmm. and you, you you mulligan and you end up with you know a hand that's like opening hand of like Doctor Boom and Tyrion yeah. and lay on hands like oh god, I could yeah. not live to play all of these. <laughs> Looks like he's thinking about keeping Shredder even. I think so. Over cards like uh, I, I think he's really looking to get Muster for battle, Consecration, maybe like an Iron Beak Owl here. I don't think he's gonna need Consecration with the Zombie Chow opener. Uh... It's still going to be good. You'll find a use for it within the first like six turns or well, so. You but... have to keep in mind when you mulligan a card, it's it's like speeding up the draw one turn earlier. So I don't know. Right. Well, you do want to maximize your chances to have the early answers. He does draw an Iron Beacon, which will be good for him. That's mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah. And I think the more important thing here is not how strong Trump's hand is, but how weak Kit Kat's yeah, is. Yeah. Kit Kat's really has. He has a, a Haunted Creeper, which is not very impressive against this Nobby Chow opening. I think it's just going to get silenced. It, it like, could. Yeah. yeah. He could absolutely. Oh. Well, uh, hmm. the scientists would definitely get silenced. Now, throughout this tournament, we've seen most of these uh, mid-range or hybrid hunters actually draw very poorly. Uh, though, still, they've won a lot of their games. Um, <laughs> is, is that just kind of how the deck systems out? Like, you just 
have some inconsistency. Right. Like the, the hybrid hunter, as the name kind of suggests, the weaknesses, the, the draws are kind of different. You've got early game, late game, and mid game. You're trying to do it all. And when you draw correctly, it's perfect. You know, you're an aggro yep. deck curving into a high main. Yeah, unstoppable. But when you're the aggro deck with the high main in your opener, you have a freezing trap in your opener against Paladin. Like, you know, you just got these sloppy draws, really awful. And your game plan's not as consistent as, like, the very aggressive hunter or the very mid range hunter. Yeah, I mean, it's here. You can actually Peacekeeper that if you want. <laughs> uh, he could. You'd build I... up a good board. Yeah, I mean, there's also the option of, of you can attack the zombie chow into it, and then if it is yeah. a freezing trap, you get your owl back. Yeah. Oh, I think that's the play regardless. I well, was actually surprised to see the owl go, go towards face Yeah, he face picked first. up the owl, and I was a little, uh, I was a little surprised. You think he that. was thinking of trying to replay the Kit zombie Kats chow? plays explosive trap. Okay. So I would not like to see the Aldor because yeah. there's a... I see. I didn't know there's that. There's at least a 33% chance. Mm -hmm. We know it's a 50-50 because he, he's holding a freezing. But... If he plays Aldor, trades in the Zombie Chow, and then goes face with the Owl, he, <laughs> he gets left with bad. a 3-1. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's also just the fact that, that Aldor is just one of your best cards against right, one against of the best cards in the Savannah hunt. Savannah you really want to have Aldor when you get to the... And the, you really want to coin out quickly. the Shredder, because next turn you want to play the True Silver. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you're going to keep Shredder, you, you're keeping it for this turn. What was the so sequence, really no like, matter what I like this it play, is. and it's... It looks like... Could be either Ooh, one. Explosive. Yeah. So, I think it's probably better we get that out of the way now. Yeah. I mean, Explosive is good against Paladin. You know, you have so many small minions with your hero power. Uh, getting the uh, the Explosive Trap gone here. You lose yep. an Owl, but not too bad. And a four-mana Owl isn't the best thing. That's, I mean, it still gets me. It'd be me. good, yeah. <laughs> I think, well, you'd of course, you'd rather have an Owl in your hand and be at 30 than no Owl whatsoever. Oh, this is about a hit. one in three that is a three attack, I believe. Three or better. Yeah. Brown the there. box. Ooh. Well, <laughs> you got that out of your pack. Yeah. yeah. That is definitely... We just, the... we just saw that Ooh, card be wow. pretty good earlier. That's a pretty good one for Trump, too. Yeah, that's scary. That's, that's He's gonna really have... scary if you're on... Yeah, yeah that, that's going to die. I mean, it's, it's actually his only play anyway. Right. But Imagine what's, if what he is had... a scary uh, six drop? Like Sylvanas, Emperor? Emperor? Emperor is a pretty scary one. <laughs> is that sure. Hayden Paladin? Uh, it's, usually. It's pretty common, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Syl Sylvanas is, is very common in the mid-range Paladin yeah. but an Emperor Caesar And Sylvanas would well. deny you your Savannah entirely. And, and now Trump's actually in a weird spot where he doesn't really have a good play this turn. Uh, he has a play. I think it's pretty it clear pre what that press is. Press a button. <laughs> um, yeah. That's, I mean, like I said, doesn't really have a play. <laughs> he has press a button for the turn. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be That's so bad. too unhappy about Quartermaster, but yeah, with this, he's going to bow it off. So forces that out to protect the freezing trap. And now, and now unsurprisingly, Aldor. that Aldor, as we were discussing, comes down to deal with the high it's main. A quality, quality combo, but it's not that useful. This isn't too far behind. Actually, though. a quality combo high main, it's much worse spot. <laughs> it is. It is not so good though. Yeah, he can kill off the high main with his uh, with his weapon at any time now. It's going to, to trade into the a freeze trap here. And yeah, right yep. here, I mean. This is one of the problems with with quartermaster is when you when double, you don't really have the ability. Shot, double kick shot. <laughs> oh dear! Right. At this, <laughs> that's at this that's point, the most oh, awkward. But Ooh. that's the card you want with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I wonder. Hmm. I like just consecrate muster. Consecrate muster. Attack like, it. Attack consecrate muster. Attack. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like I'm muster. so confused. <laughs> yeah, I like this fine too. Like this is going to force a lot out of Trump to try and protect that freezing trap again. Well, and, or a I mean, lot of Kit Kats, yeah. rather. There is the threat of actually just returning the Quartermaster, too. Getting the, the Quartermaster back on the Freezing Trap. You know, obviously, right. a, a more expensive Quartermaster is, is is weaker, but it's still a real threat. And Kit Kats doesn't really have He has the, not anything. much going on. Yeah. When you when you have, you know, two of the same trap and two Quick Shots in your hand, they're a little difficult to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was pretty close to, like, being able to piece together a good in-game plan. But with the Aldor from Trump, Trump just needs answers, essentially. He's got eight healing in his hand. We'll draw yeah, it seems healing. very unlikely that uh, this, this game's going to swing the hunter's way. Yeah, the, the lay on hands is such good insurance here for Trump. Like, right. He, normal, he knows he doesn't have to kill the hunter. Right, exactly. He's he's just playing to exhaust Kit Kat's resources and then eventually pull ahead. Yep. And also, I mean, knowing that the explosive trap's out of the way, it's not really scary for him to, you know, muster. Uh, he has the tools with the consecration in his hand. Even if there's a big unleashed hounds coming back at him, he can make a big board and then just get rid of it. Yeah. So I mean, Trump basically has 
all he needs in this game, which is a board clear and some healing. It's pretty much bound to draw into some taunts. And Kick-Ass has used so much damage just trying to protect a Freezing Trap. Very clearly going for a, a late game. I kind of kind feel of like, uh, like he's going to bounce the Quartermaster anyway. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, he would have with this hand, yeah. Yeah. He would have been happy to. So that, that didn't matter. Uh, it, it kills off what could be a 5-5 five -five this turn. Mm -hmm. So he quick shot at what could have been a 5-5. Five -five. Mm. Trump should attack first, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and now we have. You hate to see and this. And this is yeah. so scary. Knows, knowing this, yeah, knowing the, the other quartermaster is in his hand. What? Two quartermasters <laughs> in his hand. So that's like four arms men. <laughs> well, that's kind of something, but it's still it, weird. It but does. you still want to play your hand to get that quick shot draw right now. I feel. Yeah, you have to. Uh, you have to hit face is the problem. You're you're the guy that has to kill your opponent. <laughs> it is it is you have to, like quick shot base here. I mean yeah, I, I mean, guess. I mean you can at the same time though you have to buy time to be able to right. kill your opponent. You can yeah, do you nine can get this free turn, free. get him to eleven. Let's say you draw like an unleash and a kill command in your no, next like, two draws. Let's say yeah. You do get you do get two draws because of the quick shot too. Right. You, you yeah. get to play the freezing trap, uh, quick shot face, owl one of the guys maybe. Yep. See what you draw. Well, you have to owl first, well, so yes, you yeah, have yeah. to owl something, which obviously you're just going to do it on a 3-3. I guess oh. not. I'm going to be disappointed okay. if he doesn't go for it. This is a little... He needs little to win next turn, essentially. Mean, that's not possible, is it? Not really. And if I were Trump here... I feel like the high main would have lived. I mean, Trump I think if he drew, just, just drew two kill commands, he actually had a chance to win, but now he doesn't. Yeah, two kill commands or unleash kill command potentially. Yeah, I mean Trump could really just lay on hands this turn. He has he enough. Could. He has enough threat here with the you know yeah. his nine damage on board, and it, what, he's putting himself what can beat him at that point. He really wants to clock his opponent for two turns. Well, I mean with with the second quartermaster in his hand. Second quartermaster is representing another six another damage six. From hand. So he that's has, good enough. Yeah, it's enough damage, right? Right. So this is, yeah, this will clock his opponent into trading or, you know, killing him this turn, which is impossible. Right. Is the silence good enough? Uh, it silence and attack one of the guys I made. Um, well, if you silence, you get one off the board. He'll have eight plus six. So you have to, yeah, you have to attack with high main. You have to like quick shot face here, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't see how you win otherwise. Right. And... Then you're still taking what 11 from the guys. Yeah, I mean it gives you a window. Yeah, you're taking 11, so you have one more turn. Well, at that at that point, um, it's not even quartermaster doesn't even represent more damage than just yeah. He would he would die. Kings. Yeah, he's gonna he would die to blessing of yeah. kings. True. So he, I mean he doesn't know that. Right. Of course. Ooh. Wow. Okay. All right. I think well, that that has to be that's pointed going, somewhere. That's going face. Oh no, it's not. Apparently, like if you're trading there, it's not going face. He's saving it. Okay. Okay. I have to say, I don't hate that. I don't hate it either, but... I mean, at this point, you know, now that there isn't... Oh, God. <laughs> at that point, there wasn't, uh, you know, a huge threat in play. I think but... Consecration's just going to happen this turn, though. Like, True Silver Consecration, mm. and maybe, like, Mini Bot. True Silver Consecration. Yeah, you just clear his entire board. Well, yeah. well why not just Juggler, um... Mm. Uh, Muster? Uh, it's kind of risky. I mean, the, the the high main right now, you know... Well, if, if it hits the true high main three times, then you have a Consecration. True Silver, <laughs> Consecration, Shielded Minibot basically sets you up for lethal because unless he clears the Minibot, your sword plus the Kings is going to kill him. You know he's used both Freezings. I just don't like Consecrate over Juggler or Muster. Like, Muster is so I think they're both, so like, probably going to win, but... Yeah. Well, the Minibot threatens lethal. It's enough. Is, he, has, is he, has, he has to break through both its shield and actually going on now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he yeah. could be he, he could be just wanting to do the muster. This yeah, is the, the, the ten card master. dilemma. <laughs> yeah, too many good options. Exactly. Like, wait, can he lose? I don't no. think so. I mean, He's, he could have seventeen here with double kill command. That's one less than kill command oops. would do. So so, Summon Huffer was not bugged. He has sixteen. But he knows his opponent has two quartermasters. No, 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 no. What, no, no. what can Web Spinner? What, can Web Spinner put out anything? Web Spinner could do something. I mean, that's what you have to go for. Could be like a King of Beasts. A, a dire dog is another one. 
Like if that was a kill command, no, it wouldn't. He wouldn't deal. Could then two, die. Yeah, he wouldn't have two it. creatures for it. He could do it with yeah. Uh, He's already used to. Well, you have crush. to trade in the web spinner. I can't think of it off the top of my head. What would do it? But you don't win as it is. Right, you would lose one hundred percent with the sport state. Well, I mean, there's literally just lethal. In play and right when now. you're in the player box, you cannot think of every single beast in the game. <laughs> yeah. So you just have to like. But do it doesn't it. matter. Because it's it's going to be a, it's it's gonna gonna be a chicken. Conclusion. So like we already know that. Yeah. Owl on high main would Ooh, do it. Yeah. That would give him wow. five extra damage. Yeah, That's true. Ooh, yeah. Owl that is on a, that high is a beast. He could get an owl off of web spinner and win this game. That's like 4%. There's not that many beasts. Oh, no. No. Kick ass. <laughs> okay. He's going to go for it. Owl? No. Ooh. It's That's a big a fun beast, one. at least. It's really bad. <laughs> it's a fun one. Yep. So now you have to probably... Oh, he's he's so dead. Yeah. You have to kill off both of those. I mean, the thing is, like, attacking yeah, that doesn't on. even save you damage at this point. You know, you, that thing doesn't he, need yeah, to hit you twice. Yeah, he's dead to the quartermaster he knows is in the hand. Well, no, the, the, the second... Oh, yeah, the second quartermaster. He knows the yeah. second quartermaster is there. Dead. Yeah. Any number of things. Unfortunate. He did have an out there at the end, surprisingly. I don't, yeah, even, was... I don't even think he <laughs> thought of that out. But yeah. he did think of, okay, Maybe I know I'm going to lose. Right. I need to try this. That's right. I mean, that's Good plays in the end. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that, that's definitely one of the things about, about playing competitive Hearthstone is you are under a lot of time pressure, mm. and there's a lot of things you need to consider. And, you know, there's when you're sitting back and, and watching at home or you know, watching thing at Caster Desk. Yeah, we're like, Trump Googling didn't what consider could happen. That. <laughs> Trump <laughs> didn't consider that, because if that happened, there was a better Trump, play from his side yeah, of the board. I, I sure. really think that Consecration play locked the game up I, 100%. Yeah, I, I, think that, I think that I agree with Jockey that the Consecration play is probably the safest. You, if no way you got a off of Web Center, the game would go on. But, <laughs> right. You, you, you're but done, so what? You'd probably still He's not in a position yeah. that he has to end the game in a turn. You yeah. know, he, he has so many resources mm -hmm. and so many so tools to deal with. Trump with kind of... I mean, the double kill command was one off, but... Trump kind of found a play with a very minuscule chance of losing. 4%. I don't know if you play arena like I do, but 4% <laughs> yeah, is just every other game. Right, you leave yourself open to that a lot, and yeah. suddenly you know, your overall win rate isn't as high as it could be. Mm -hmm. But Trump but we, will take game one. So Good enough. Good enough. Paladin takes the game, Hunter doesn't. That's, that's a big win. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I th like we were saying before, I think that this, these particular versions of Hunter and Paladin, I do think that I'd rather be on the Paladin side. Yeah. I think it's true, but it's, it's Conquest. You still kind of have to win the game. And I think just against whatever deck, Hunter is going to win more of them than Paladin these <laughs> well, days. What's big about that win is that Kit Kat's is patron where he lines up super favorably against Paladin. Mm -hmm. And now that's completely gone. What good matchups does Patron Warrior really have? It has, you know, an okay one against Hunter. Yeah. And a well, pretty you bad about one that, against uh, Hanlock. We talked about that when you were uh, off off the casting bench. What do you think about that? It, it seems like most people prefer to be the Hunter against the Grim Patron Warrior. Um, I mean, I think I, I actually basically prefer the better player. It's that close. Mm -hmm. so who are you taking here, then? Um, <laughs> mm, <laughs> tough. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure Kit Kat knows how to play Warrior. Kit Kat's, right. Kit Kat does play a Kit lot plays of a Warrior. Lot of in, Warrior. Fact, in fact, I think this last game may have been the first time I saw him play anything else. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, this is a good opening That's hand, a good hand for the Warrior. Hunter. So I'll that just is... dodge your question there, Kip. <laughs> okay. okay. These you guys are both Kit great. Oh, I mean, they're, they're, they're both excellent players, for sure. Right. And here... I mean, know, what... What better can I think you hope Trump for? Trump might if you're have more experience, though. A second armor smith. <laughs> I don't know. You really need two. I, I, you, I, this is just a great hand. I mean, War, Warax armor smith are the two cards you want the most in your opening hand against Hunter when you're playing. Yeah, I mean, Despite's pretty good. Yeah, always gets value. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. Like it's so good, especially going second. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep. For sure. And he has, you know, excellent, excellent ways to uh, both sort of play something proactively with the armor smith, and then deal with it, whatever the opponent plays with the war axe. It even lines up very well against what we see, you know, in Trump's hand, being able to, you know, yeah, deals with haunted creeper, exactly. which, is, which is very, very unlikely to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the point of the card. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't do yeah. much, but you can't get rid of it. Well, Trump's respecting the fact that he thinks the haunted creeper will be cleared God. by mulliganing yeah. away the hound master. I mean, that's one of the one of the reasons you play, you know, with with uh, Houndmaster plus that's Haunted one Creeper. That's one of is, the is best targets, right? Ever, exactly. Yeah. That's but a pr pretty good draw from the Hunter now. Oh yeah, I mean, Trump's hand is is, is pretty strong. Yeah. Here too. I just feel the Warriors is perfect. Oh, if yeah, the Warrior draw lines up with the Hunter draw, no matter how good the Hunter draw is, the Warrior will win. 
Yeah, the, the, the reactive tools the warrior has are so powerful when they are uh, facing the correct threats. That's the problem. The, right. you know, the, the hunter deck is full of strong threats, and if your opponent doesn't have what they need to deal with them in time, they take so much damage, and you're able yeah. to get ahead in life and then win the game. I mean, there's kind of like a rule, a which is life. if you coin out like Knife Juggler and they don't axe it, you pretty much win. <laughs> kind of. I mean, we we saw in the the you know, previous match that we just we just watched the uh, you know the unanswered yeah. knife juggler did like fourteen yeah. damage. Right, that that's the merit in going for this risky mm. play. But when you see your opponent keep three cards, oh yeah, and, no, it, it, I think coining out the armor smith is really like telling. Right, like you know the coin is valuable in Grim Patron Warrior. That means you know, you you know have... the next card is either axe or another armor smith or taskmaster. Yeah, <laughs> and here we have the uh, spider go down, spider lingo down. Variation. Of course, no emotion from Trump. <laughs> Trump is, you know, he's he's solid, he's stoic. Mm -hmm. Stoic. Whoa. <laughs> Trump probably like, oh yeah, I'd do that play too. <laughs> Seems valuable. Yep. Okay. Well, we're still drawn really well. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is... <laughs> yeah. This, this, this is really good for yeah. Cats. He's able to, to deal with both of Trump's threats, gain, yeah. you know, gain some more armor. The, uh... I think Trump is playing only freezing traps. Doesn't matter. It well, doesn't it, matter. It kind of does because explosive would be so much worse. Explosive <laughs> would be ridiculously bad. Okay. Yeah, if you played like acolyte into explosive trap and then attack. Well, that's right. a good draw. Ooh, that is that is pretty. That good. prevents you from getting totally wrecked. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I don't think he can play it, though. Play I, I, I think, it. Yeah. yeah, he has to play on curfew, or he really needs to get something out that's actually threatening to get the patron off the board, to, or the, rather the uh, the Berserker off the board. Yeah. I mean, next turn, maybe he can owl and kill it, but I don't think he can afford to not spend his mana efficiently this turn. Yep. I mean, you take five, oh, but... God. Oh. And there's Death's Bite. Strike. Yep, so it is going to be a freezing. Trump didn't even look at his trap, which suggests even more. <laughs> it, it's it's only freezing. Yeah, deck. Oh, needs some good Shredder RNG, or it's over, basically. And he has... Oh, and it's know, over. Doomsayer would be insane there. Yeah, unkillable. He, he's actually wrong. It's actually Kit Kat's town. <laughs> wow. Two kill commands to uh, control a frothing, I guess. Yeah, we we are not in value town right now. I think no. we're gonna see uh, juggler kill command, I guess. Maybe juggler. No, you don't want to silence. It has to be kill command. I mean, you, you really want to. This hand is so ugly. I mean, if you don't kill it, not only is it still just a minion that's threatening to deal damage to you, it's it's a damaged minion for battle rage. Yeah. You know, like if, if that stays in the board, Kit Kat's his turn next turn is so explosive. He gets to play Acolyte plus. Oh, he's actually just silencing it. This is actually a point where you would doesn't seem good. I'd be happy I don't, about I don't bowing that, play. that eight two and taking eight mm -hmm. just to develop a bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill commanding it just feels terrible. I mean, this turn is insane for Kit Kat's. He gets to clear both of Trump's minions. Draw three. Draw yeah. Draw four. a card from yeah. Yeah, draw this didn't make much like, sense. I guess he he definitely wanted the juggle to hit. That way it would die to the death by world. Right. One, I, think, I think that's what. We, I mean, it could be from Trump's perspective. He's so far behind that he just has I mean, to get lucky and and wants to be able to maybe he just win he this just game thinks his opens. only window is to face. And if he leaves a two one, it's just another damage on his side with the unleash. Yeah, I mean, he does have the Unleash and the Double Kill That's Command. That's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. I would not Unleash here. I'd just loath up, probably. Yeah, I think his line of play is a late-game Unleash Late-game Unleash for a lot of damage can yeah. happen. I mean, if you're in Trump's seat, you have to be thinking, okay, how in the world do I win this game? Right. You know, you're and so far behind. It's damage. Yeah, well, if that's how you win most games. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're done controlling the board. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he has he has no tools left to be able to actually try and stop Kit-Kat from doing much of anything. So he's it's like, kind of okay. cool. Like, we, we all thought it was like a misplay, but now... Now we kind of see the line of play, and he's consistent with it. He has a plan. He yeah. clearly, he clearly yeah. has a plan. And yeah. what he's doing and he's is, with it. yeah, yeah he's he's, with he's, it. he's like, okay, you know, this is what the board state is. This is how I can possibly win here, and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Yeah, Lothab delivers five. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's that's you know, yep. getting some getting some damage in. Lothab is really good against Patron Warrior. That's what I call value. They very rarely can just deal with it on board. And no armor up. I mean, that's what Trump wants. Is he had your cards. Yeah. I'm at 27. Yeah, this is this is definitely you know he is he has that unleash. He has two kill command. In Trump's mind, Bo is his best draw here. But there is a Harrison, and even then, Bo's still three damage. Yeah. And how you know how upset can you be about three damage? I mean, in, in next turn, 
you know, he, he's still one mana away from being able to cast all of these next turn, but mm -hmm. he has a lot of damage. Yeah, he might want to go. Dread, that Dread Corsair um, definitely uh, hurts a little bit, though. Yeah, especially with the Armor, Armor Smith, Smith, which he knew was there. Right. So. Yeah, this is this 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 turn may just uh, take it out of range too much. for for Kit Kats. You know, being able to play oh, Armor Smith into Taunt. Yeah. Oh, he's not actually playing the Taunt. Okay. He's gonna attack first. Oh, he, he wants to draw up. first. Okay. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, I can see that. Wow. And now comes all the armoring. Okay, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Not even going to attack. Mm -hmm. He's got all the whirlwind effects in the world. Now, now Kit Kats, you know, sort of mm -hmm. also realizes this is how I can lose this game. The way I can lose this game is just getting yep. bursted down, burned out, and he's trying to set up, Which, you know, the ability to just generate a ton of armor all at once. Yeah, that kind of goes back to last game where Trump's play had a very tiny chance of losing, mm -hmm. and now if you're in Kit Kats' mm -hmm. seat, he's kind of that's what you have to think that. about. You're yeah. like, okay, is there any way I lose? All right, let's play around that. Yeah, Why mean, not? And that's one of the hallmarks of really strong players is that, you know, in a lot of cases, when someone's really far ahead, they're just like, oh, yeah, I'm totally, I got this game. I'm winning it. Yeah. And they don't really go that's, through. That's the, when a YouTube video happens. <laughs> exactly. That's that's when, you know, you, you, they, you know, they don't go through, okay, what are the possible permutations where yeah. I can lose? And when that does come up, you know, you're just like, oh, God, what have I done? Well, I think Kit Kat's, uh, through his line of play, has it on lock. Uh, I mean, Trump basically has about as aggressive as it gets, and Kit Kat's is still alive against it. I mean, yeah. with with that Death Spite in play and the Armor Smith and, and the Whirlwind. And multi, yeah, so many more things threatening to come down, you know, draw more cards, gain more armor. It's just, I don't see a window for Trump to really get back into this game. Yeah. yeah he, I think, he had a plan and he stuck to it, but it's it's not going to work against Kit Kats' line. I think Kit Kats is going to gain like 10 armor next turn, so. Yeah. Trump's just and we're all spinning up. Maybe he gets that owl he may have remembered was in the game last, <laughs> last game. I think that would be pretty good. Three damage. Yeah. Oh, and there's oh. even more armor. Wow. And even more. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you don't even need to really gain maximum armor here. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, you don't. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, we're talking about value here. You want you, you want, want to the crush most. the spirit of your opponent yeah, for right. any opportunity. Right, you want to end this game at like 50 health. You want to be like, you yeah. thought you might have had me when I was at 10? <laughs> Kill command. No. That just I drops my armor by a ten. <laughs> you've, got, you've got to crush your opponent's spirit, you know. Exactly. You've, you've still got more games ahead of you. Yeah. Oh, he's not going for max armor. I'm disappointed. Oh, that's just a misplay. Oh, he thought about <laughs> it. You know, he's like, should I? No, I'm fine. Oh, he dear. could have. Oh, dear. That's too much. He could have bounced Over the Dread Corsair first, because it'd still be really cheap. Put the weapon out. He might just not attack still, though. Okay. Actually, ropes that turn. Oh, it's Grim Patron War. It's okay. Yeah. You get like a set of coupons for Grim Patron War. You just have to use a couple of them. <laughs> Ooh, a Mexna. That's a pretty big body to put behind a hound. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really unfortunately. Nice yeah, unfortunately, it is still just it dies like the rest of them to execute. Yeah. We need we need a Maxna with Fairy Dragon effect with Taunt. That's what we need in the game. That sounds miserable to play against. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's the new Kodo meta. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And don't have to target it with that. Got a, a very epic sound effect when it comes to the play, though. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Oh, now is when you BM with the armor. Oh, my God. <laughs> you draw, like, eight cards I mean, this turn. The funny thing is, I don't, even, I don't even think that he still doesn't have the other frothing. He still doesn't have a Grim Patron. So he, I think, actually, just his best play, even outside of BM, uh, is I, just gain a ton I of armor. I think there's a lethal in here. There's probably there? a lethal in here. Yeah. I don't know. It's a lot of damage. I mean, he, he is getting, you know, more cards here. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Do it. <laughs> do it. That is your whole board. <laughs> That's 28 armor, Crip. <laughs> 28. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, you changed your mind real quick. Yep. Strike. Just ignore my Axna. What's she going to do to 28 armor? No, don't no. attack it. You'll die. <laughs> Strike. Almost a huge misplay. 
Ah, okay, we only ball. get 12. We get Trump. So sad. By the time the animations finish. <laughs> All right, so he's at 31, one more than he started the game yeah. with. This is that point where it's like, I thought I did damage to this guy. Yeah. Oh, no. quick shot. Oh, Got no. him now. Okay, he's going to end <laughs> the game with 31. I don't know who I was watching. It was one of the players. I think it was like Doubleos or something. I just like glanced and over what he was doing. He's playing Warrior with like 55 armor. <laughs> it's one of those games. So, uh, yeah, here Kit Kats managed to pull out his win with Warrior. Not you know, as as his uh, his specialty, not terribly surprising. It really surprising. highlights the range of the deck. I oh, mean, yeah. You got the combo potential. You got the value potential. You got You got the draw so you're not out of it. And sometimes when they try to rush you down, uh, yeah, Armorsmith. Oh, you, there, there are so many angles that that deck can take. You right. know, he, and, and there it was just, you know, you can just never kill me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah establishing such I really a big like board. seeing that deck. I know you guys probably both hate playing against it. <laughs> yeah, we're pr pretty... But from this chair, watching that, it I'm is, having a great time. It's, a, it's definitely a deck that has lots of really cool, really complex, interesting decision making yeah. and scenarios, but it is. Uh, not necessarily the most fun to play against sometimes. Do you rather play against that or go. Face Hunter? Oh, I'm dead. Well, <laughs> I'm okay with it doing well because so far our two semifinals don't have it. That's true. So that is very true. At worst, we're going to have a 50-50 split of patrons and non-patrons. I think in the lower bracket, not many people really have patron either. Trump doesn't. Life Coach doesn't. Rain Ad and Kit Kats do. Well, the series is tied. Uh, Trump sticks to his Hunter plan. Kit Kats with the Warlock. I believe it was a handlock. I believe the only player that didn't bring a slow warlock deck was the rat, who managed to not win any games. Yeah, his zoo deck did not do very well for him. I think that was a zero four or zero five with the zoo deck before he tried Grim Patient Warrior. Four, yeah. Also failed to win with that. He had a really rough run, yeah, was, man. I, I, saw, make... I saw the last match yesterday. It was a, a definitely tough. Yeah, he made a misplay with the the dire wolf alpha that he was beating himself up over with trading it. He that... traded in the egg first. Yeah, but that didn't seem like a big deal. Uh, like he was really close to winning that game. If yeah, but I don't think that was enough of a difference, from what I remember. Okay, I I've played my fair share of Zoo. It's a strong deck. Could have just been a bad showing. Yeah, but obviously, wasn't the best meta for it. Yeah. And here, Kit Kat with, as we said, the hand lock. What is what is Trump looking for in his opening hand here against handlock? Just good card pressure. <laughs> if if you get if you get bad stuff at the start, you just kind of lose, and we saw that just earlier. Mm -hmm. Well, Molten's pretty good against Hunter. Yeah, for for Kit Kats, you definitely you know Molten Giant taunts, yeah, Dark Bombs, things to, to slow down the game and uh, the, the even, things that punish your opponent from even from big game's not bad. Like what other three drops do you have in that deck? <laughs> it is it is definitely a matchup where it is is among the scariest to, to just spend your first few turns life tapping. Mm -hmm. In lots of matchups, you don't care about having early drops because you just have this button that says draw a card. Yeah, it's but this one and like the Mech Shaman. Mm -hmm. Or are you just terrified? Yeah. So, Chucky, what do you think here? He has the option of Creeper. Uh, I or think he was he pretty, goes the yeah, he was pretty committed to the, the Creeper plan. Yeah. I don't think master. he's going for a quick finish mm -hmm. where you'd want to go for the Risky Juggler. Hope they don't have Dark Bomb. He doesn't. You get in a lot of damage. But I think he's going to try and set up more of like a big board that can't really be cleared. Maybe like a high main on six would be insane. Lothab on five is great. Yeah, he also has the, the Houndmaster in his hand with the yeah, coin, he, he so he, kept, he has yeah, yeah, he the kept option. the Houndmaster and the Haunted Creeper. What do you think of uh, Juggler coin uh, the other web spinner? Other Haunted you, Creeper? I, yeah. I think at that point, you, you, you lose your ability to Houndmaster if your opponent Hellfires. Yeah, but this is kind of weak to Silence, and he has Silence. Eh, I mean, I, oh, and here's Hellfire, too. <laughs> hey. But I mean, either either way, I He's think He's just going to play Twilight Yeah. Thing. I mean, this, this generates the most immediate threat uh, right. on the board. You know, you have, you have seven. You attack for three right away, and you have seven power this turn. Now, That's freeze trap. The yeah. main issue with freezing trap against handlock is, is they'll do something like, well, even besides healbot, they'll just play a sun fury and say <laughs> go. Right. And now you have to kill that sun fury if you don't want it getting freezing trapped. Right. Which means less burn to their often, face. Often that's an issue, but I don't think that's what Trump's really worried about. Well, the main card Trump would really want right now would be something like an iron beak owl. Uh, to break through a taunt and potentially push for lethal, especially with double quick shot, double which is... BGH. Is that the third player with double BGH? Well, we knew handlock? Trump had it. Well, this is Kit Kats. Or Kit Kats, yeah. yeah. Kit oh, Kats and Trump both have double big game hunter. Okay. 
And who else has oh, it? Oh, man. If, if Kit Kats loses, it's going to be an awesome Warlock match. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kit Kats Handlock versus considers... Handlock with two BGHs apiece. Yeah, I talked to Kit Kats, and he considers himself an underdog in the Handlock mirror. How so? Um, I'm not exactly sure on specifics. He thinks his list is worse. And also, I've heard from a lot of people, Handlock mirror is a lot about just knowing the matchup. Mm -hmm. uh, Very skill-based. Yeah. Trump plays a lot and of handlock. And Trump lock. plays a lot of handlock on ladder. Plays more ladder than a lot of players. Yeah. And I can tell you Kit Kats really doesn't. Mm -hmm. So Kit Kats very specialized in Warrior. Mm -hmm. His other decks are his main weakness. Warrior is out of the way now. And he's going to have to find a win with this deck. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I, like I, was, I was joking before that you know I'd never seen Kit Kats play that kind right. of Warrior. But I'm actually not sure I have. Actually, <laughs> going back to Fight Night, <laughs> way back when with Kit Kats on my team... He came up to me before a Zoomir against Forsen and says, Chalky, do do I have never played Zoomir. <laughs> what do I do? Actually, like, um, wow. when I played that a fight happened. night, I think I played my first game of Zoo live. Yeah, that was <laughs> Didn't Kit even Kats. practice. That was Kit Kats. Okay, yeah. yeah. Back then, we were pretty lax about the game. Just like, you know. <laughs> my, my very first tournament, I, I, I built a, a Hunter deck and leveled up to level 10 to get Kill Command the morning of the tournament. Oh, man. Was that, was that the you Sunshine had, that was the Open? Sunshine you open, had a yeah. good, good instinct. That card was pretty good. Yeah, I was like, okay, this should be in my deck, I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I had to do the... the uh, the Nax Ramus challenge too to get, oh, yeah. to get web spinner. This is literally like eight, eight or nine a.m. Yeah. I was like, I gotta get another deck. What position do you like uh, here? Do you rather uh, do you rather be the warlock or the hunter? I think mm -hmm. I like the warlock's position, even though it looks a bit grim on the board. I feel like with Molten's and heal, I think you're gonna come out ahead here. Uh, I mean, th there's not that much burn in Trump's hand right now. That's a lot of burn compared to what that deck has in it. Yeah, I mean, he does have he does have. Okay, this is this is kind of cool. The, the doubling up on this guy. This is gonna get punished by that owl, unfortunately for uh, for Trump. But it does break him through the uh, the Belcher right now, and he is able to start getting some damage. Yeah, in I could face. see like an owl Hellfire even. Yeah, that would be pretty brutal. He can just owl that. Attack the the, the uh, other. Well, he, there's spider. a freezing trap up. Oh right, there is a freezing trap. My bad. What yeah, about he, Owl Shadow Flame? Uh, that doesn't clear off the other Houndmaster. Oh, that's true. That's yeah, true. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Owl Hellfire. Owl, Owl Hellfire definitely. I mean, it clears most of the board. I mean, you you are you are then actually very low though. You are at twelve. Your and you're facing has one. You're facing two uh, two, two attackers. Right. What about just Hellfire Sun Fury then? Uh... Yeah, that's, that's actually kind of doable. Reasonable. Yeah, you put up a four-six taunt. You're facing on four, mm -hmm. so your opponent needs something to get through. Yeah, because I mean, if you're in Kit Kat's spot here, you know the, the Hellfire is certainly attractive because it does clear the board, uh, but you are pretty scared of, of going down quite that low. It's also that if he doesn't get through, you're getting a zero mana molten giant if he hero powers. Uh, yeah, 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 and, and it's, it's hard to not hero power. Yeah. You're gonna hero power. I wonder. Unless you draw high main. Which for Kit Kats, I guess he's thinking not if he draws high main, but if he has high main. So, mm -hmm. well, looks like he likes the owl. All right. Yeah, I think this might be a case of it being the more immediate play rather than the greatest I mean, play. He also he also has that molten giant in his hand that right. you know he yeah. really does want to taunt, the, to the taunt up. The idea here is he wants mm -hmm. to taunt them both up that, uh, and ensure the freeze on the uh, on the taunt. Yeah. The Harrison activator. tech. Not coming in handy. This is not. This is not the card you're looking for. Not here. yet. <laughs> mm, I guess if you pressure your opponent to play Jiraxis and then Harrison them, okay. And then draw seven kill commands. Seven kill commands, Brian Kibler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still uh, like one thing. I'm kind of disappointed sometimes is you know I, I know people upload their their crazy like highlight reels on on YouTube and you know that kind of stuff. What I haven't seen yet is like the five X quick shot in arena, like five <laughs> off the top in a row. In where, a row. Where is that one? If I if think Trump didn't have seven mana, he could have the potential to not heal here. But with seven mana, you're basically forced into the right play. Mm -hmm. If you had six, you'd have to choose between taunting or healing. Mm -hmm. And in that case, taunting might seem more appealing because kill command's only seven, not eight. But. Uh, unleash off the top is it's pretty good with that juggler. Probably what you wanted here, yeah. Oh man. You, I mean, if it kills the sunfire, I guess you can quick shot the other one. 
No, those juggles are going base. Oh, those, crap. those juggles did not did not go many places he wanted. No. Yeah, you're gonna have to quick shot probably that eight eight. I mean, he has. You probably want to fit in the here. Five, power. six, seven, eight, nine damage from minions. That doesn't look good at all. This is, a, I mean, there's there's two things that he doesn't want to be returned by uh, Freezing Trap either. Either the, the Sun Fury or the Heal Bot coming back is, is pretty rough for Trump. Right. You can't deal with both of them unless you double quick shot. If you double the quick heal shot, you don't probably win. probably worse, though, Yeah, right? the, the Heal Bot is, is, is more dangerous because you're, you're at the point where you really need to actually just kill your opponent. And this is that point where you're, you're putting damage into the Heal Bot. And so, you know, even though they don't get to heal, you're healing them indirectly. Right, yeah. Heal Bot effectively gained 11 here. <laughs> That's that's a good card. <laughs> and if you quick shot the Sun Fury, which I don't think you will, but like let's say if you were to do that, your opponent just won't attack. Mm -hmm. Uh with this play you might yeah, okay. I think I like the attack off the Sun Fury. I mean you're not gonna get better than that. Well he's he has another heal blood in his hand. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well he couldn't attack off the Sun Fury. Oh, you're saying, yeah. He, he had to, to use this, Quick huh? Shot, which means no hero power, which right. means you lost five damage. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just pretty ugly for, for Trump here. This is looking really bad for Trump at this point. Yeah. You know, especially with that Defender Vargas draw, too. You know, now both Kikot has the, uh, the anti heal bot to be able to deal with the, the threat of losing to just direct damage, as well as Defender of Argus to keep him alive. And he, he leaves up the Three freezing minutes. and plays the heal bot. Yep. And again, we're in the same position. Yeah, oh, and, that and card is uh, one turn late. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been really good last turn. He wouldn't have had the Hounds, though, then. No, he, he drew the, the Harrison list, I believe. No, right? no, he drew the Hounds last turn. Okay. Yeah. Well, then it's. Yeah, there's so just again, switched order. Another <laughs> heal bot for eleven. Yep. That and this is just this is just a disaster for Trump. You know, right. he is he's sitting here. At, he's know, living off of the Harrison Jaraxxus. Yeah, he's like, please just play Jaraxxus right now, please, please. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> and the game's not even gonna offer Kit Kats that option. It's gonna save him. <laughs> I think they like Emperor here. He got sixteen, whatever. I got uh, it doesn't really reduce anything though. But yeah, it does seem pretty good. You can Emperor, Emperor and BGH. Yeah, yep. I, think, I think you just want to get just That's damage the most play. power. Right. You, just, you use your mana efficiently. You get a bunch of power yeah. in play. You can save Lothep for a turn where he's more relevant. You're it, not at any risk here. Yeah, right now you don't really care about you know, increasing the, the cost of your opponent's spells. He did just play a bunch of spells, and right. there's nothing really threatening you. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, Bow is okay. Uh, I don't think it's going to be it's, I don't close. think it's enough, yeah. but... I mean, he really wanted to draw a something like a high main. You know, he really is yep. a, a really high impact minion that's going to get a lot of you know repeat value for you. Yeah, but now you might actually warrant a Jaraxxus. <laughs> Seriously? I yeah. I mean, like if he draws Jaraxxus this turn, it it theoretically could come down. I don't think it's coming down this turn, but the next it might. Yeah. But then it might be. Too yeah, I think late. It, I think you're you're at the point where this is just so this is just cats, getting out of hand. Gotcha. Can you set up lethal? Is the main question. And uh, you, you'd want to loathe him as well, of right. course. I mean, I think. I mean, actually, at this point, you have you're at what eleven? Your opponent has one card in hand. Right. I, I think that you want to taunt this you're turn. You're going I, to eight. I think you have to loathe him taunt. Yeah, I, I think that you're you're, you're scared enough of something like maybe getting Huffer kill commanded. Well, I'd want to also kill my opponent in two. I guess you can as, get as few kill turns as possible as well. Oh, you think no, that's over loathe him? Yeah. How do you accomplish that? It has to Your be... Your opponent's going to 22. Yeah, it has to be Argus because so you want you need that extra damage. So it has to be Giant Argus to do the damage. Um, yeah, I think you want to Lothab 21. for sure. What, what, what's, the, what's your reason for Lothab? It'd be what three you, short. What is kick out the I guess he's already used both quick play. shots, essentially, so there's no shenanigans to really kill you, but... Yeah, I, I, I like this play from kick -Kats. It sets up a this huge should, taunt wall. This should set up lethal. Yeah, yeah. it's a huge taunt wall, and I was one is, short. Yeah, but he, he has, has the dark bomb. 17. No, it's actually one, dark bomb. It, he's actually one damage off lethal next turn, oh, including so, dark bomb. So I would have liked him to play, because uh, I don't think he, he could have played BGH, right? Uh, no. Oh, he actually, he could. Yeah, he could have played BGH no, as well. No, because then it, right. oh, well, oh, it, it increases the cost the of the giant. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, the giant. Right, right, okay. Yeah, he can't play it before because it increased the cost well, or after. Did he, he didn't just use all it. his mana, though, did he? No, he didn't. He had two left over, but the the, the BGH would have been two after playing the Giant. And okay, before yeah, it would have been three, yeah. so he couldn't play both. Yep. Uh, this this game is just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, on top. Is there 
<laughs> anyway. Well, there's about 10,000 health worth of taunts on right. KitKat's side of the board, no and way. he's under low feb. Yeah, so well, KitKat's yeah. found good enough of a line that it yeah. locks your opponent out. Yeah. All right, so we go to... You guys just had all, to Kit Kats. all those, like, huge tools that he needed as a handlock. Like, yeah. the, the life gain, the taunts, the counter, the freeze, good enough board. Uh, Hailfire to stop that mid-game damage. And Trump Trump drew a lot of his cards that he... Like, like uh, Freezing Trap, that freezing he really, he really so kind dead. of wants to get off of uh, yeah, a scientist. Both. The Freezing well, Trap a liability was a problem. I feel like right. one Freeze Trap was one were... kind of okay. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. preferable, but yeah. there's worse cards in one freeze trap. Yeah, they, they actually ended up just being enormous liabilities for him. I mean, yeah. it, it did it did keep the Twilight ba uh, Drake at bay for a while, but ultimately, you know, it, it yeah. gained uh, it, it you know brought that taunt giver back, made it so he just forced him to use quick shot on minions. Right, exactly. I think, I think really the biggest problem is they just didn't have another card that did something. Right. I mean, we we talked about like uh, you know decks that you know draw a crazy amount of cards, and if they draw a little bit at the start, it's a big deal later on because they draw into more cards that draw stuff. Yeah. Well, with Hunter, you don't have draw to begin with. And if you already have a dead card at the start, that's like, you yeah. know, the, the, other, the other version of that. Yeah. The opposite. Yeah. It is definitely a deck that, that, you know, especially in a matchup like that, you need to have very particular things happen in order for you to right. uh, be able to present enough of an offense to keep them from being able to set up their huge defense. Well, Kit on match point. Uh, the Hunter mirrors, I guess, whatever. But then uh, Handlock. So he's got two matches that he can probably win reasonably well. We, and uh, he only has to win one. Do we know the uh, the the particulars of these two decks? Are they both Houndmaster decks? I'm not uh, sure. Yeah, they are. Okay. I, I would imagine that generally speaking, the deck with Kick Houndmaster in the Hunter one. Mirror, the deck with Houndmaster in the Hunter Mirror is usually favored because favored. Houndmaster Kick is has two owls, which will be important. Okay. So and basically, Kick two Houndmasters has an explosive owl. trap. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of variance. Explosive can be quite good. Well, it also makes your opponent have to. Player yes. on two different lines. Yeah, yeah it, it, even even if the card itself doesn't have a high impact, it influences in, what they're able to do. Yeah, because in the of, hunter in the mirror, having one explosive and one snake trap specifically also yeah. like makes your <laughs> opponent. It's literally a coin flip of if their play is good enough or, or not. Hmm. Where well, with juggler is nice, but mad scientist is a really nice counter. Yeah, I don't like juggler is actually not that nice in the mirror. Uh, this is a slower mirror. Mm -hmm. But Mad Scientist and Haunted Creeper are obviously like the most preferred early game cards. Especially Mad Scientist into both. Yeah, Trump's even gonna pass. That's how like slow this game's gonna go. As compared to like normal Hunter Mirrors where there's usually a much more aggressive deck. Smork? Normal is Smork? <laughs> normal is Smork. And this is not very Smorky. Yeah. Oh, I guess one of his own. Well. That's kind of cool. And this is a lonely Houndmaster right here. There are yep. no beasts in Kit Kat's hand, so he's not going to be able to enable anything next turn. Crypt, do you think uh, the, the golden card theory holds up here where he, he is only using golden Houndmaster to, to remind himself when he looks at his hand, he's like, oh, right, right. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, I think you're going face. <laughs> I think you have to. SM work approved. Um, yeah, you want that dagger to go face too. Hey. Oh, there it is. First three damage. It has to be scientist. You can't. You can't use a removal on a I, bad scientist. You're just still behind. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what you're. You're hoping to accomplish. If you like kill command the scientist because it's. It's gonna bring right. out something that's gonna neutralize oh, I think if your. You use something you just quick. Potentially, he's just sure. like yeah. faking thinking here. Like, there is the. I would hope. Because these other three play. Oh, nice kill command. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that's. Wow. That, in my book, I think okay. that's the third so, I play. That yeah, I would I, do. I'm not really sure what. I mean, his thought process must be that that he you know he wants trying to, to protect. He does have unleash in his hand, and he's trying to protect that that juggler. But it right. seems it seems really rough to invest that much in there, especially when you do have a good play with like a mad scientist that turn. If anything, if I were Trump, I'd be like, what does he have? Like Kazan Mystic? <laughs> like, what's he trying to do? Oh, that would be good. That but, would be a very powerful card right now. Yeah, he's obviously trying we to set up an unleash of that, though. to proc the freezing. Mm. But Trump has no minions, so... Yeah, we're talking about how a lot of players made it here through techie cards. Um, but uh, I don't think you've seen a single Kazan Mystic. Nope. Hunter's pretty dominant None. still. I actually used all of them up in my uh, yeah. my matchup against Firebat you know, in, okay. in Penguin a few weeks ago. So there are none left to play. All six of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not many... 
Not many people on the Tech Against Secrets plan. I mean, as we were discussing earlier, you know, the most popular classes in this tournament have been, you know, Warrior and Warlock, and right. Hunter's really the only secret class that has seen a lot of play. And Hunter a few specifically is extremely good at dealing with its own traps. Right, exactly. On leash so, counters freezing, bow counters explosive. Yeah, so it's it, it's the the texture of this particular metagame, I think, is not one uh, that's per, that's particularly vulnerable to keys on this pick. Right, and. That, I really like that coin Lotha play from Trump. Yeah, I think there was no other play. Uh, yeah, there really wasn't. You it's could like go for nothing. you could go for Owl Hero Power, but oh, you have a man. freezing app. Uh, yeah. This is this is really bad spot for Kickass. And this now. guarantees is, the freezing. Right. Yeah. Everything in his hand costs way too much or is useless. <laughs> yeah, and now Trump's down eight health, but he has a massive board oh, advantage. Yeah. This is this is huge for Trump. I mean, he can even just if he wants to Owl that uh, that uh, scientist yeah. take out the board. Yeah, I mean, that's that's also an option, too. I mean, Yeah, if you Freezing Trap and Hero Power, because there's Mad no Scientist. traps left in his deck to get Mad Scientist. You play it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, playing Mad Scientist, the only bad part is it gives your opponent another Hound on Unleashed Towns, which is the counter to Freezing Trap. You care? Uh, your opponent's, like, somewhat likely to go Unleash the Hounds and maybe, yeah, like, if, kill if he commands does, your 5-5. Five five. If he does do the Unleash the Hounds play... <clears throat> He still, like, if you trade Scientist, you still have the Hound to proc his freeze. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it, not, it's not bad. Yeah, it's true. I mean, if, if you're, if you're, if you're in Trump's seat here, I think, I mean, I think you really could just go face Freezing Trap and, you know, just try and preserve the big board advantage you do have. You could try and save this Freezing Trap for something bigger. Kit Kats is going into turn six, and he could play a high minute. Right. You know, and, and, and I think that maybe you want to try to keep your, your Freezing Trap for something better. Oh. I think you have enough damage to just hero power freezing trap. Yeah. Scientist is basically a hero power that's also a 2-2 two -two body. So that scientist, he wants to either get in more than two damage or get in two damage and do something else. Oh, and kick ass through his other trap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is brutal. He, he still, still has got, one yeah, left. He still got one. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. yeah. Trump has been has he's still super yeah. behind, but this is yeah, this is just a really bad spot. He still has that Hound Master with nothing he can actually pump with it. He needs to get to seven mana to be able to you know Animal oh, Companion into Hound Master. Yeah, I think he might or Animal unleash. Companion this turn anyway. Yeah, he, well he I, he's just looking for un, yeah Unleash to break the trap. Right, of course. But this still gives Trump another uh, another, another charge of the bow. Yep. That is what I call value. So he's gonna go for explosive and okay. Kind of like I talked about, that Mad Scientist actually was worse than a hero power. Wait, wait, wait. It is gave him an extra dog, right. and it's going to die to explosive. Is the sequencing bad on that? Hmm? The is sequencing this... was bad. I feel his, if you play trap. the explosive first, it was the triggers before trigger the freeze, which is exactly what he wants. It was incorrect, yeah. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right there. He did. That goes did back to, again, we've talked backward. about Kit Kats, very experienced warrior, not so much with other that's, classes. That's a huge difference. Yeah, yeah it, you get a low up for it's, free. It's, 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 the sort of, it's the sort of thing that I, that I think that if you are someone who is experienced in playing with secret classes, you know, mm -hmm. you're just like, okay, this is just how this mechanic works. Right, it's but just an experience thing. If, if you're used to pressing armor up a lot, it's a lot different. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like Trump's picking up on this. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe those warrior players aren't as smart as we thought. <laughs> oh. Hunter knows maybe, stupid. <laughs> maybe the new face of warrior will be smarter. Well... <laughs> I mean, Trump's really thinking through it. He knows what two traps yeah, those are. He's, he, he's studied the videos. I know he has. And I mean, the, the thing is, right. there, there's there's no sequencing that can make attacking with Lothab first wrong. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, the only the only possible outcomes the are only, either I get my Lothab back no, or no, they the, both there's die. There's only one terrible play here. It's attacking with bow. <laughs> <laughs> that is that, is, that would yeah, that is, really be bad. Yeah. Or or just roping and doing nothing. Uh, what's going on? So he's, I guess, I guess he's just kind of assuming that, uh, you know, one of these is explosive, one of these is freezing, what? and he doesn't, he doesn't want to lose his guys right. and go to face. He wants to, he wants to just preserve his board presence against the possibility of of Kit Kat developing okay, a large I board think, this turn. I think he he wants to like trade in Lotheb into a minion, get yeah. it frozen, and then go face. Yeah, because I mean, he assumes he, it's right. In the that's that's order. the thing. He just he just sort of assumed that you know, okay, well, it, this is going to be explosive triggering, then freezing. So right. I won't get the freezing. Well, Kit Kat just dodge that one. Yeah, and he, he, <laughs> you just. I mean, when you're when you're in Trump's seat, you, you certainly don't assume that your opponent right, is going to make that kind of error. You you, you have error. to you know, 
I unless unless there's no other way for you to win, you generally you're know, going to assume that your opponent made a made a play that is uh, that is going to be correct. Yeah. Well, he can still uh, take advantage of Kit Kats here with the owl going face. <laughs> Oh no, he can't. No, no, that wouldn't really help. Yeah, that yeah. wouldn't help yeah. at all. You'd, you'd want to do damage. You probably want to freeze the scientist at this point because no, I think you want to freeze a doggy. Oh yeah, he has unleash. Yeah, okay. Unleashed. Yeah, I didn't spot that. Um, yeah, so he'll definitely can, do that. Then. Yeah, you you can unleash and then freeze the dog, trade off with that Leoc, get the yeah uh, yeah. This is this. So is then going, going back to his last turn, he was clearly setting up the unleash mm -hmm. for this right. turn to yes. proc that freezing. Yep. And just making it so that he would have more stuff to trade in to kick out the I mean, Trump, Trump is someone who does appreciate here, here his you value. Just, you and here he's getting value. Frozen dog, I'm pretty that. sure. Mm -hmm. What? You just play the frozen dog. The frozen dog. Well, here you can, you know, the, the, Loth, the Lotheban what dog does the can take the frozen dog do? It, it allows the board. You, it, yeah, it allows you to clear the board with your scientist. Okay. So here, you know, the, the dog and Lotheb take this out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he just made uh, Unleash the Hounds cost six instead of three with the Freezing Trap. Right. If he does make that way, it looks like it is. is. Yeah. That actually seemed like a balanced turn. Yeah. No, I mean, this is... This is Maybe we need totally a six-man Unleash the Hounds. Hmm? We need a six-man <laughs> yeah. Unleash the Hounds. I kind of... The this only felt thing totally is, fair. The only thing is keeping the, the Frozen Dog not only gives you a way to play around the next Freezing Trap, if there is one, but it also gives you a way to enable your kill command with one extra damage. That's true, and he could have he could have used the bow charge to kill the the minion instead. Which, well, now we which also left it to keep another minion frozen dog. As well. by the we way. do. Frozen dog requires see. some RNG here. Frozen dog hype. Oh, 50 50 <laughs> there we frozen go. dog. A quick shot. Oh. Yeah, if not, he does it. Well, you need to kill your opponent is the main issue. Yeah. We've talked about this a lot. You can trade all you want, but you're so far behind on health, and your deck doesn't play a lot of burst. At minimum, this is a two-turn kill for Speaking of a lot of burst. Uh, that's one off lethal. Yep. Yep. The frozen dog. Was the one. <laughs> he was the chosen dog. <laughs> and that's why you always go face. You don't clear that hound master. SM orc. Do you just freeze the knife juggler? I mean, yeah, silence the knife juggler and uh, go for 11 face? Uh, there's no healing. You put your opponent to two or one, yeah. In the way that you're least likely to die. So, okay. Kick out's already used a kill command. So, kill command, like bow. Kill command, quick shot, quick shot is 11, 13 from the hero power, plus four from the board. He died of that. <laughs> Double quick shot kill command would kill him. If you go all face. I mean, the thing is that you're, you're I mean, you're not really able to. Oh, okay, this is this is a way. Yeah. I, yeah heard, so, I heard someone from the audience yell smork so loud. I'm pretty sure it came through my audio. It probably <laughs> came through. <laughs> I imagine so. Uh, so will this set up lethal from hand? It will. Yeah, he still has no nine. Kill command, right, he still has man. Yeah, he, he still has a nine in hand. He and now he's so taunts. Trump plays around. Quick shot, quick shot, kill command. He does lose against the taunt though. Um, but can he put one up with two mana? Um, well, you don't yes. lose to a taunt? Yes, the web spinner can create. Yeah. Well, no I longer. I would have liked to trade the web spinner first. He's going to go. He's going to assume Trump doesn't have nine, though. Yeah. But that's it's, a bad assumption to make because Trump very clearly would would Trump like to have made. Trump a is play. exactly nine. Right. Trump would like to make a play that sets up lethal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're assuming your opponent's rational, they probably set up lethal. Mm hmm. What beasts have taunt anyway besides King of Beasts? Which wouldn't be too bad, by the Silverback way. Silverback Patriarch, Iron, Iron for Grizzly. Yeah, Iron for Grizzly okay. as well. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. I think that's above 10%. No. It's not? How many beasts are there? I think it was about 25. Really? Okay. You know, so like I don't 8%. even know this. Actually, it's probably not even that. I think it's about 20. No, yeah. It'd be 12%, right? Yeah. There's, There's a lot of beasts. Each. You'd be surprised. There are quite a few beasts. Okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. I was gonna See, be a lot now of posts on if he Reddit trades, he should have traded the web spinner. But we don't know first yeah. thing. <laughs> so he's gonna go for the zero mana taunt. Uh, you know how heartbreaking that would have been if it was a taunt. Just silverback patriarch, king of off. beasts. That's the one it had to be. <laughs> and down That's gonna goes be it. Kit Kat. So we're going to game and five. Boom. Game five. We did a lot of game fives. Yeah. And it is. Uh, it is a pretty even one, I would say. Yeah. Uh, I think 
Hunter's supposed to beat Handlock, but in this tournament it hasn't. Well, I mean, we've seen a lot of uh, the, you know, the sort of shifts the toward these mid-range Hunter decks. Yeah. They they don't really, you know, as we saw in the, the previous game, they don't really have all that many tools to close out those games. They yeah. have, you know, they have a few a few burst spells, and uh, as we saw before, those freezing traps can actually be a liability. There are so yeah. many good minions for the the handlock deck to return. We've seen this matchup so much, uh, and so far we've seen like the warlock drawn badly, but the hunter draws badly, so the warlock wins anyway. Right. And then we see the, the hunter draw well, but then the warlock draws well, so then the warlock wins anyway. Mm -hmm. So it, it has to be the case where the hunter has to draw well and the warlock has to draw badly. Yeah. I mean, the, Which the, is really bad for the hunter. The hunter, well, the onus is on the hunter to put... You make it sound bad. <laughs> the yeah. onus is on the hunter to put enough pressure out there to actually close out the game before, you know, stuff like... Uh, Sludge Belchers and anti killbots and everything to sort of take the game out of reach. Yeah. And the uh, you know the warlock has just these powerful tools that even if the hunter has a great draw, it's like if you do have double molten giant taunt. Yeah. You know, it's just like okay, well you know uh, if I'm able to get out of range of this, and you don't have enough burst right away, the game again gets out of reach. Do you know how many uh, hunters mark are in Kit Kat's deck? There's zero. Do we see any? I believe we saw one from Trump. I haven't Trump, seen Trump, one from yeah. Kit Kats. Yeah. Mm. Also, we were, uh, we were well informed owls. that there are 32 beasts in the game. I wasn't too far 32. off. 32. Okay. Okay. That's right. fair. So 3 out of 32? Almost 10%. Almost. Yeah, almost. 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 But, uh, yeah, I think the best, the ideal like situation for Kit Kats in this matchup is you have an owl in your hand to break through taunts, and you basically pressure enough that the handlock can't play much turn one through five, and then on turn six you play Savannah High Main. Yeah. And they're at about 14 or 15. I mean, Owl definitely is, and we were saying, I believe, that Kikots said a double Owl in his deck. It is double Owl. It is, it is one of the most important cards in this matchup, right. because you, know, you don't have the ability to actually get through 8-8 eight, eight taunts with damage. That's just not going to happen. You I know, don't think Kikots is too happy about Freeze Trap into Freeze Trap. <laughs> Freezing Trap, really not good in yeah. this matchup. It is not what you're just, looking for. It's actually usually a liability. The funny thing is, if he kept it, he would have drawn another one. It would have been the that's double a, freeze trap dream again. That's a pretty good hand from Trump. He does have Mortal Coil to deal with the you know, immediate threat, Dark Bomb to deal with something else. It's just Jaraxxus often doesn't save you against the Hunter. It is sometimes not enough. I mean, in particular like against Often the, it's not enough. Well, oftentimes it's too late. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes, too, you know, when you're playing as mid-range Hunter, they do have, you know, they're more reliant on building up a big board with stuff like, you know, Savannah High Main mm -hmm. that is more difficult for you to deal with. Yeah. Whereas against Face Hunter, if you direct it, you basically win because their deck is just full of small things that do a little bit of damage. That was actually probably the best Animal Companion for him, given the Dark Bomb in, in, uh, in Trump's hand. Yeah, I think if it was a Liak, it would have been just a Mortal Coral Ignore. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a Huffer who would have just died. And now it has to die and yeah. basically keeps the web spinner alive because yep. of uh, the Misha roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Huffer would have done four damage. damage. It's true. Yeah. I mean, mm. that was. Yeah, it was probably one of the better ones. It sets you up for another one, which is very and likely. <laughs> you mean another Misha? Is that what Summon you're Summon Misha about? is apparently very the name of this card right likely now. To get it's the name answer. of the tournament. My Huffer by the way. is bugged. TJ's off screen, he says five Mishas. Is that in a row? <laughs> so far. In a row. No. No, no, no. Five, five today. Ooh, and there is an owl. So this is an interesting spot because wow, he, can use that, yeah, he can use this owl to deal with, you know, just immediately clear this uh, Drake with his web I don't web know spinner. if I like that. But, well, that, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I, it's, he can do that, but that owl is so valuable at dealing with big taunts later that it's not mm. clear that's what he wants to do. freezing trap. No. Just Houndmaster. <laughs> I mean, Houndmaster, just Houndmaster up the Misha Actually, and just yeah, face. I like Freezing Trap because... Uh, I yeah, I like Freezing Trap because if he plays that taunt on it, then you can silence it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, you use your mana so much more effectively by just Houndmastering this turn. It does leave you open to um, a health... or a, not, a, not a Shadow Flame, actually. No, because the guy would be too big. Yeah, no, I, I think that... I'm a little confused by, the, by the, that choice here. Because Houndmaster is just such a strong play that he turn. He could Shadow Flame, trade it in, and then... Oh, or if you don't, if you don't, yeah, if you don't have the, uh, if you don't have the, the freezing trap up. So this, this does play around Shadow Flame. Yeah. Which is, you know, reasonable. Well, no, it doesn't. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't expose the. It doesn't expose the the, the Houndmaster right, plus. Right, right, I have right. to say, like you guys are kind of hating on the play. I think it's okay. Well, I'm not. No, I'm not, I'm not hating. It. I'm just saying that you know the the, the Houndmaster you know is is definitely a, a play that would have gotten a lot of damage and developed a really big board here. This is you know, this is uh, able to. Get a reasonable use out of that freezing trap, perhaps, which is you know something that's, that's as we've seen can be tough in the matchup. Right. Well, the important thing to consider is whenever like these players are making these kind of different plays, they always have a reason. Oh yeah, 
there is logic behind basically everything that's being yeah, done we hope in this least. tournament. We would hope. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, not not too much hate on the play. We could see a juggler unleash here. I think that given given that uh, that zombie chow, uh, Kitkats has to be thinking about using the unleash this turn because he he, he's, the he's trying to protect his freezing trap. And we've and seen, here, seen this a lot. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> what Kitkats if, likes what if defending he just goes freezing all trap. in on damage. I think if he's, no. I think if he goes all on damage, he's actually going to win. this he game. He will win this game, but that's that's the yeah, losing he, play in general. Well, I mean, right. he, he has mm -hmm. he has to be afraid oh, of oh. of the. Uh, he has no burn in hand. Yeah. Shadow flame would wipe him. Molten's would just like murder you. But what if Kit Kats is just what if completely is fearless? Out. Yeah, yeah. He's just like you know what? If I'm he gonna is, win in fact, this tournament, SMR incarnate. Yeah, he is just you know, <laughs> embodying the power. I just, I just, I just kind of see. It. I, I certainly would not go face here. He's but gonna I trade for the job. I see going faces oh. winning in this exact game. Yes. This exact game. I, I, so I, I, it's, it's knowing not, both hands and perfect hindsight. It's not worth <laughs> too much consideration. This will actually yeah. take him right to the health at which he can play Molten Sun Fury, which is. Dangerous. It's but dangerous, yeah. I mean, he does have that owl, though. So Molten uh, Sun Fury is not as scary as so it might Kit be in other Kats situations. So going to have 10 plus Unleash plus Hero Power. That's and Trump, has actually, Trump, has Trump has no taunts. Nothing. Trump has just nothing. Is Trump, I, I think is that, Trump dead unless he taps, is the question. I think that may be the case. And Trump has to answer that within the context of not knowing a hand and just right. looking at the board. Hey, just look at Trump's Trump face. Like, like, oh, he's, he's so just this like, is how oh, it ends. Yeah. yeah, you can tell Trump's going for that, uh, that <laughs> he has fearless to tap. tap. Yeah. He has to, he has <laughs> to, he it. Has to get a taunt to activate it. He, no, he does. Argus off of this. Sun Fury will help, but... Oh. oh. And that's Trump's tournament. That looks like it. Look There's... at Kit Kats. Kit Kats like, oh man, am, am I dead? Is this board. over? Is, is, is this over? He's going to be like so blown away to hear that he has... The Trump has nothing. I mean, that, when you're like playing, Kit does not look happy at all right now. No. Kit Kats just looks <laughs> focused. Yeah. And now you can kind of see a little glimmer in his eye. <laughs> oh, okay. he's like, wait, does he have? Yeah, I mean, because literally, like, he could have Shadow Flame. He could have, you know, uh, uh, Hellfire. He could have <laughs> tons of bad you know, stuff. There's so many, <laughs> many cards. Taunts. But no, no, no. Resume. No. Oh. <laughs> he resumes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, maybe it's not freezing. Maybe, maybe it's, it's explosive. explosive. No, no, no. no. Yeah. And there it is. Kit Kats takes down Trump three games to one. What yeah. a game. Yeah. A bit it, it came down to for Trump. Uh, yeah, it came down to both players had to face uh, mid range Hunter versus Handlock. Mm -hmm. And it worked for Kit Kats, but it did not work for Trump. Oh, it worked for Kit Kats both ways. It did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what we saw, you know, that the, the, uh, in that game, Kit Kats had a pretty strong start. And Trump just didn't have the cards Anything. he needed to deal with it. He had he that had all of his you know situation. sort of utility cards that are great in other matchups, but he had no taunt givers. He had no board wipe. You know nah, he just they never have it. <laughs> that's I mean, and, and sometimes that's just how you have to play it. That's your mentality as the hunter. You're just like sometimes, like you were saying, Crip. What if you went all in? It's like, well, this is the game you would win if you did that. And that's yeah. and that's I mean, he didn't go all in, but he did but, not. He played it pretty intelligently. Fairly aggressively. He was open to a few things. <laughs> But it was still not fairly too aggressive. much. I yeah. think he was very favored, even if you if we didn't know the hand. Right. But yeah, just gonna take that match, and Kit Kat's gonna move on to the semifinals yeah. to play the winner of our next match, Life Coach versus Reyna. And it, I mean, Trump is gone. Yeah, just like that. The yeah. mirror value. Town. No value in that last match. Voted out of this match. We do have uh, another match ahead of us before we get into the semifinals, though. Uh, that'll be pretty soon, but I think before even that, I th oh no, <laughs> okay, uh, we, the pair players have disappeared. Now. Nothing happened. We thought maybe there was something happening. No, but... nothing's happened. Nothing's happened at all. <laughs> anyway. happening. It's just us. It's just pay no attention this to the man happening. behind the curtain. Yeah, right here, right here. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Yeah, these uh, there's there's a lot of warlock in this tournament. It's something we didn't really talk about going in, but um, these warlocks are not struggling to to win games. Well, so, just there we did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, one of them won. <laughs> it's true. It is true. One of them won. <laughs> yeah. We will see that in a lot of matches to come. One of them winning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Raynad might actually be the only player without a Warlock. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, he has Tempo no, Mage. Phone Tap didn't have Warlock. He had neither Warrior nor Warlock. Right. Okay. That was what I thought was so cool about his lineup. Phone is tap. Those are the two most popular decks in the tournament. Yep. He had neither. So we had six Warlocks in the top eight then. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, we'll have to see. We will see from uh, Raynad in the upcoming match, I yeah. believe. But for now, we get to see more Kit Kats. All right. Yep. 
That's right. I'm joined by Kit Katz, who has taken the third spot in the semifinals, defeating Trump in a very close series, 3-2. to two. Uh, Kit Katz, that seemed to be a little bumpy along the road, uh, especially that Hunter versus Hunter uh, mirror match. What, what happened there? I suck at Hunter versus Hunter. I'm a control player, so Hunter versus Hunter, you got to know how to play the matchup. You've got to be a Hunter player. You've got to be able to think smork, and I... I was just, I, I don't do that, man. I, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you did let that one pass, but overall in some of the other control matchups, it seemed like you had a good grasp. But what, what do you think was the key to the series for you to defeat uh, a player like Trump who's been on the upswing recently? I knew I had to take advantage of his, uh, his Warlock deck because it was really a greedy list. It's got double BGH Siphon, and so I just had to try an all in it. And um, he will get three cards, and so I, I felt like I could just all in him here. And, uh, and that's really what it all came down to. You told me before the match, and I'm actually just remembering that, if you won against Trump, I was supposed to hug you. Well, I mean, that, that also was, I, I'll hug you later, don't worry. But why, why is that so, like, such a big deal for you? My production is telling me I should hug you now. You want to hug? You want to make it to the top of Arc Range? Let's do it. Why, why is it such a big deal to beat Trump? Is it because you two go way back, or is it specifically, do you have a secret rivalry with him? No, Trump and I are really great friends. I'm, I don't know if they showed, but there's a picture of him, like, knighting me in it at Blizzard. You know, we're always playing around. We have pictures of us, like, you know, fake punching each other. And we're just really great friends. And uh, I really respect Trump. I've always have. And I used to watch him back when he had, like, 100, less than 100 viewers playing StarCraft II. I've always been a huge fan, and uh, it was just an honor to play him. Awesome. And then uh, now you go up against the winner of Life Coach, which is Raynad, and that's going to be pretty tough, too. But this is also a great accomplishment, top four in a, a good event. I think the last re really good result you had was in WCA, where you also placed top four in that? Top eight. Top eight in that as well. Um, so, you know, is this the, finally the, the year of Kit Kats that people are able to see you live up to your potential? Because people have been hyping you for a very long time. Well, after uh, I learned that you can't only play Warrior... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, you know, this is going to be my year since I branched out. You know, I got the Warlock. I, I at least have some of the matchups of Hunter down. And uh, so I hope this will be my year. And I hope you guys cheer me on. All right, there you go. Kit Kats advances to the semifinals where you await the winner of Life Coach versus Reyna. And that brings us to our last quarterfinal on day number three. Let's head over to the desk and see what we have in store for the halfway point of day number three. Thank you very much, Dan.